Hello students, welcome to my channel Engineers Academy. Let's solve this particular problem. In this problem it is said that the forklift area of the machine of problem 498 is shown with additional dimensional detail. Determine the force in the single hydraulic cylinder CD. The mass of the cube of bricks is 2000 kg with mass center at G2. You may neglect the effects of the weight of the forklift components, right? Now to solve this problem, we will consider uh, this this uh, part of this assembly for equilibrium, right? So let me isolate that free as a free body diagram, right? So we will consider this as a free body diagram, right? So as we can see that the weight of the bricks will be acting at this G2, right? So we will have that weight which will be acting somewhere here, right? And that weight will be equal to 2000 times 9.81 so if we multiply this so this will be equal to 1962 newtons and if we divide it by 1000 right this will be 19620 newtons so if we divide it by 1000 so this will be equal to 19.62 kilo newtons right similarly as we can see that uh, the weight of these bricks will try to rotate this whole mechanism this mechanism about this point e this is that point e right so this the weight of these bricks will try to rotate this whole mechanism about this point e in the clockwise direction so this cd cylinder will apply the force in the inward direction right that is from c to d right so this cylinder will apply the force in this direction to maintain that equilibrium right so let's say that this is that force cd right and here at this point e we will have two support reaction this is e x and e y right like this so to to apply the summation of moment about point e equals to zero right so first we have to find the angle of FCD with the horizontal, right? So we have to find this angle. Let's say this angle is theta. So now we can find that angle theta by using uh, this triangle, right? So if I draw the triangle here, right? So we will have this triangle like this. So this is that theta angle. So let me find that theta by applying tan theta. So we can write a tan theta. So tan theta will be equal to perpendicular which is 735 plus 215 divided by the base. So the base is 480. So I will divide it by 480. So we can take tan inverse. So this will give us the theta. right? So this is tan inverse. So tan inverse uh, 735 plus 215 divided by 480 so this gives me 63.19 that theta is 63.19 right so now we can resolve this fcd into its components right so we will have two components this one will be the cos component and this one will be the sine component like this right so now if we apply the summation of moment about point E equals to 0 and if we assume that the counterclockwise moment is positive. So as we can see that uh, this cos component is producing the counterclockwise moment about that point E. And this one is the cos component, right? This is FCD cos of theta. So we can write that this is plus FCD cos of theta and theta is 63.19. And the perpendicular distance of this cos component from that point E will be this distance. This is 215. So I will multiply this with 215. Let me represent those uh, cos component here as well, right? So this is that cos component. And here we will have that sine component. Let me represent that, right? So as we can see that this sine component is also producing the moment about this point E in the counterclockwise direction. So I will write plus FCD sine of 63.19 and the perpendicular distance of this sine component from this point E is this very small distance, this 35 mm. So I will multiply this with 35 
and similarly this weight is also producing the clockwise moment about that point e so i will write minus 19.62 and the perpendicular distance of this weight from the point e is this distance this is 835 so i will multiply this with 835 and this will be equal to zero so we can simplify this we can take fcd common from both of uh, these terms right so we will have 215 cos of 63.19 plus 35 sin of 63.19 and we can write this on the other side of equation right so this will be 19.62 into 835 so let me simplify this so now we have this equation and we will be able to find this fcd by dividing this term on 128.21 right so we can write it as 16383 divided by 128.21 so this is equal to 127.78 kilonewton 127.78 kilonewton right so this is 127.78 kilonewton force uh, force will be applied by this CD cylinder in this direction that is on this part right so this is the solution of this particular problem I hope you people would have understood this solution kindly like this video if you people want me to solve such more problems also subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed my channel yet